so guys i am a verified educator on an online learning platform called on academy right where i am making courses for gate examination both in hindi and english right so you can download the on academy learning app search my name over there act and follow me on that particular platform for awesome videos on the gate chemistry examination right so very good evening to all of you in this video i'm going to talk about gs 2019 which is basically an entrance exam to get into TIFRs okay so Tata Institute of Fundamental Research that is Mumbai and Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and Tata Center for Interdisciplinary Sciences that is Hyderabad so there are two kinds of TIFR uh, where chemical chemistry students can get admission that is TIFR Mumbai and TIFR Hyderabad right so this is not a very popular uh, popular exam among students and um, i don't find the reason why okay i can't find the reason because why is it so uh because it's a very very prestigious institute first of all tifr right uh, all the kinds of instruments every like you would not find uh, or you would not face any administrative difficulties over here yes the uh, kind of um, the environment is very scientific over there right and you would have to you know work hard in that institute right so i am come across i haven't come across any student who said that you know working over here was easy uh, definitely working over here is tough uh but then if you are willing to uh, work hard it can actually help you in your career a lot right now coming on to the exam so there are two kinds of courses that are offered in this chemical in the chemistry subject one is integrated phd and one is uh, simply phd so for integrated phd you need a bsc and for create phd you need a msc on the website they have not given what kind of percentage is required uh, like what is the minimum percentage that you need to have they have just mentioned excuse me bsc or msc right so integrated phd as mentioned on the website is of 6 years where you'll get a masters degree as well as a phd degree and if you if you simply go for phd after your masters then you have 5 years right now there are two very important things that you need to understand that the this is a unique kind of a exam because over here uh, you you know the integrated phd exam and the phd exam is the same like the question paper is the same for MSc students as well as for the BSc students, right? So this is one thing that you need to uh, that is not clear, and I'm just clearing it out. Okay. The second thing is that you do, do not need any JAM score for BSc students, or you don't need any GATE score or your NET score, or you know you don't need any kind of fellowship. They provide their own fellowship, so that is a very good thing about this exam. So this exam is going to be held on 9 December 2018. and the exam will be conducted in the morning from 9:30 to 12:30 it's a 3 hour exam okay and there will be 40 questions in the exam uh, and each question comprises of 3 marks and negative marking is also there for each wrong answer you get minus 1 so there are total of 40 questions um there will be questions basically from your chemistry your basic mathematics and please uh, there will uh, like you have to pay attention to molecular spectroscopy and quantum there will be a lot of questions on spectroscopy and quantum right and basic maths as well right so these are the few topics which will be asked in the exam there might be some questions from biochemistry as well right uh, so these are the main uh, topics from which the questions are asked and the cut off you know it ranges from somewhere around 48 marks to um, 60 marks okay this is the general cut off last year i had given the exam and uh, i think i had scored uh, roughly around if i'm not uh, mistaken around 55 or 56 and i had qualified the exam right so like i had um i had uh, intentionally done only 20 questions and i had qualified the exam so i think the cut off ranges from 48 to 60 marks that's what my prediction is right they don't release their own official cut offs now the last date to apply for this exam is 15th of november 2018 and um, for male candidates the application fee is 900 and for the female candidates it's 300 and they do provide a fellowship as well for both phd and integrated phd students So for integrated PhD students, uh, for the first year they provide sixteen thousand as a fellowship. Uh, like like after your BSc, if you join as an integrated PhD student, you get sixteen thousand fellowship for the first year. And uh, based on your um, <coughs> evaluation, if your if your if your evaluation is satisfactory, then from the second year onwards you get a fellowship of around twenty five thousand until you become a PhD student. And for PhD students, the basic um, stipend is twenty five thousand. and once you are fully enrolled uh, you get a stipend of 28000 uh, 
they have just mentioned on the website fully enrolled uh, and i think by fully enrolled they mean uh, that once you complete their coursework so they have at least one year of coursework so i think once you complete the coursework they increase your stipend to 28000 so this is all about your uh, stipend and the fellowships and uh, it's a really great institute and uh, you would not find like i told you in the previous in just a few minutes back that you would not find any kind of administrative difficulties over here uh, the funding is plenty and a lot of good research is carried out over here. So if you're interested, you can fill, fill out the form. Uh, the last date is 15th of November 2018. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching.